desi.com.au the ultimate australian website for all the bollywood entertainment news and info why look anywhere else when you can find it all at desi.com.au Hi everyone, we're here with Jassi Sidhu. How are you, sir? I'm good. A bit tired, but it's okay. Okay, I'm fine. Been nice both there. You just arrived today. Yeah, we arrived this morning. All right, so we're going to talk to you about your album so far, what you have planned ahead, and uh, how you feel about the scene, the Punjabi music scene in the UK in general. So maybe we'll get started with how did you get started in the music industry? What brought you? What attracted you to the music industry? Kinna kacharya, this is a very long story. I've been doing this a long time. Short me bata dijiye. Very short ho ke stara saal da si me me vaise school le parda si and I decided I want to become a singer. So I I created the band B21. Fe we were together. We you know a huge band around the world and do hi arakte bich which played up and I went solo. And since my solo career, I'm uh, it's gone from strength to strength. You know songs like Amani Ama, Virji Vyan Chaliya, which. Just appeared in a Bollywood film last year. Nairi uh, Saan Jaan Mang Di Ki Kerne. You know all the songs. The the love and support I've got over 17 years is unbelievable. So it's been a long career and a very successful one as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't I can't complain. You know, so Mark Di Meer Na Liya that. Sab kuch dey jana sano. Definitely. And how would you categorize your music, sir? So is it uh, Punjabi, UK Punjabi Bhangra? Is it? Yeah, it's UK Punjabi music. You know, um, I'm very proud to be British born and bred. You know, uh, when I go to Punjab and my album sell in Punjab, you go to nikke nikke pindanu jaat sare gaane jaan deya. You know, I'm very proud that I was born and raised in Birmingham. Yeah. Yet my music travels around the world, so it's definitely UK Bangra. And internationally recognised, uh, Punjabi music is played, heard, and danced on everywhere. Definitely. You know, it's, uh, there's no more boundaries anymore. Punjabi music is played everywhere. You know, Hindi film jee bide kono Punjabi gaane bich baj deya. Je the tole baj da utthe lokan na chena ya. So everyone wants a bit of it. So it's uh, It's Everyone great. enjoys the dough. Of the course, you know. You know, it's the main thing now at the end. I think people are catching on to what it is. So you're definitely enjoying being the pioneer of UK Bhangra music. Um, how about Bhangra music in Bollywood? Well, what is your take on that? Do you think it's going to make it in the UK Punjabi Bhangra music, or do you think it's a while? You know what? At the end day, oh, he got legit the toll. Watch that. People are really, you know. I think the Bollywood scene is opening up to the sound of the toll and the UK sound as well. I was in uh, Speedy Sings last year with Akshay Kumar, yeah. and um, you know, a lot of doors have opened with that, and they all want that kind of that that cheerful Bhangra sound. Because you know, when Marji Bollywood music over, I do a lot of shows. I was in delhi a few days ago doing work and jinne marji hindi gaane bajao jinne marji la do jo tol shuru hunda ya the whole thing changes so i think you're going to hear more and more you know i'm in talks with two or three different films now to do some more songs so i think more and more you're going to hear that sound coming into the films so we're definitely going to see jassi sidhu on the bollywood scene or at least we look forward to it yeah definitely you know speedy sings open a lot of doors for me and it's a pleasure working with the likes of anupam kher akshay kumar you know and then uh, russell peters you know rob low camilla bell is a is a privilege and uh, it opened a lot of doors for me and uh, Hopefully, yeah. So, how has it been collaborating with all these artists? You know, I'm lucky that I get to uh, work alongside a lot of great artists. It's a privilege. You know, last year during the make that film, got to work alongside Ludacris and Drake, and you know, it's very strange that our music lets us permits us to cross these boundaries. It's wonderful. Do you have any advice for any upcoming artists on the Punjabi Bangra music scene or Punjabi music anywhere across the world who are trying to make it big? Any advice that you would like to give to them? You know, I, I, I never try and give advice because I'm still learning myself every day. Even after 17 years, it hasn't kind of worked out perfectly for me. So, just the only thing I can ever say to anybody is just believe in yourself. Great. Thanks a lot for talking to us today, Jesse. Thank pleasure. you very much. Thank you. Hi, Daisy TV. We're here today with PBN. Hello. How are you doing? I'm very well. How are you? Thank you for joining us today. So, PBN, we'd like to. Talk about a few things today. We'll probably talk about how you came up with the name PBN and Punjabi music in general, and how you're doing and your upcoming projects. So, would you like to get started by telling us how did you come up with this name? PBN. Um, do you want me to hold mic? Uh, yeah. <laughs> PBN. It came up when I was in school. You know, I started music for a very young age as well, 16, 17. Um, I managed to go to a few local recording studios and learn how to make music and production. Once I succeeded on that, I needed a stage name. Um, and amongst friends, we sat there and we came up with loads of ideas. And then Punjabi by nature, that name stuck. 
over the years, people have started knowing me from uh, as PBN. Um, so we got rid of that Punjabi by nature. Why? Because I am Punjabi. You know, born and bred in England, in Wolverhampton. The one thing I've never let go of is my culture. Um, and you know, because of that, you know, we're traveling the world, and I'm sitting here in Australia today. So uh, yeah, PBN represents just who I am, what I'm about, my family, my culture, and yeah, of course, Pongra music. So that's great. It's, uh, it allows you to cross boundaries. It allows you to reach the youth and people who enjoy music in general. So you just mentioned your family. Um, I guess on the funnier side, how did your family receive your idea of getting involved with music? You know, we come from a culture where everybody wants their kids to be an engineer or a doctor, a sub doctor banjaimas. So how did your family react to this? I mean, first and foremost, my my family supported me since day one. Do you know, with them, it is you know I, they're proud of that that I'm promoting my culture. Um, and music's not frowned upon either you know it's a really you know big successful industry it's you know it's as good as being a doctor you know or a dentist you know typical you know my, my son needs to be a pilot or a doctor but Ajikal, you know music artist is a, is a good thing as well um, so yeah they've supported me since day one and and you know without their blessings I probably wouldn't do what I'm doing today so I'm grateful that's great so we have your next album coming up which is me myself and music uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about it yeah, Me, Myself and Music came out last year, that's my latest album. Um, you know, in, in England now and across the world, what happens is we release singles before the album. So, you know, one of my songs, which is like a huge success globally, was a Fit Temu. Um, and then after that, Saddi Gal Horia, Ikwari, we, you know, released three, four singles and recently released the album. Um, and, you know, it's doing really well, man. So I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who's supporting it, really. That's great. So um, we would also like to get your take on what you think about Punjabi Bhangra music moving into the Bollywood industry. Do you do you see that happening in the next few years? Is there a reason why it hasn't happened so far? Because Punjabi music has been quite popular. To, to be honest, Punjabi music is already in Bollywood films. You know, I mean, like but, I heard uh, the UK Bhangra, the kind of music that you guys are involved with. I think what's happened is I think India have have took a piece from UK already. Um, they're already doing the beats and the bass lines that we were so good at doing. You know, they're advanced now, do you know what I mean? And there's some great stuff coming out from Punjab, from Delhi, from Mumbai. Um, and a lot of our English producers have already gone over there as well. So we hear them influences. But um, I think, you know, surely all of us are stepping through into new markets and, and Bollywood's one where, you know, even I want to be one day as well. So, you know, there's people, salute to people like RDB, you know, you know, from, from, from Bradford in England and they've managed to cross over. Um, and, you know, now Punjab music is being represented in Bollywood. Bollywood is represented across the world, so it's, it's amazing. That's pretty great. So are there any artists that you're looking to collaborate with in the future? Something that your fans can look forward to? No. Your dream wish list as such, if there is one? You know what, I've been fortunate with Rabdi Media, you know, I've been you know, able to work with I'd say 80% of the, you know, the Punjabi industry, especially in, in, in the UK, you know, um, from the likes of Malkeet Singh, you know, to the Miss Pooja, Jesse Sidhus, you know, I've done a lot of collaborations. For me next, it's about developing my own team. Um, I've brought a new singer with me into Australia, Raj Baines, up and coming folk singer, 21 years old. And for me now, you know, after that, I'll get a mere lagge. Me making my name across the globe now, I want to use, I want to use that fan base and introduce new talent. Um, Raj Baines is one, Sanj is another, and there's a girl called Bambi as well, um, who's from UK R&B Punjabi pop singer. So the next year from PBN is going to be Team PBN. It's just making the brand a little bit more bigger and introducing fresh new faces. That's fabulous, PBN. So we wish you all the best for all your future endeavors, and thank you so much for joining Desi TV today. Hi, friends. Welcome to Desi TV Australia, and today we have with us singer Zara, who's down here from the UK. Hi Zora, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you very much and uh, how are you? Thank you very much. Very well, thank you for joining us. It's such a pleasure to be able to talk to you. Uh, thanks for having me here today and uh, really, really grateful to all the Sydney people and looking forward for the f uh, show tomorrow. So, thank you so much. So Zora, we would like to uh, probably get started by talking about how you got into the music industry and what inspired you into music and inspired you to become a singer. Actually, I was seven years old when I first started music, and uh, my main influence always been uh, Kaka Pani Awalaji and uh, Surjit Bindakia. I've been listening to them since I was little. Then I started learning about age of seven, and harmonium, tabla. Then I, I do play on these instruments right here. Yeah, and uh, yes, today. So now, just uh, uh, my first single coming out with Zeus really soon. So yes, looking forward for that. That's pretty exciting. What is your single called? Uh, to be honest, there's a three singles, right? Three singles we recorded, and uh, there's uh, different tracks, and uh, we're not sure that which we're gonna release because they have three singles after three singles we're releasing album, wow. so we're not sure which one we're gonna release first. So still, because all are the really really good tracks. So yes. 
And so this is uh, UK Punjabi Bhangra music, uh, folk music? 100% yeah, it's gonna be UK because uh, Zeus always got a bit of mix, folk and uh, urban mix right yeah. So it's gonna be a bit of both. Yeah, and how's the experience been? Your debut album with Dr. Zeus, one of the most popular uh, singers and producers of uh, albums, Bhangra albums. Uh, Zeus uh, always been uh, really helpful as like a big brother always try to tell me where my mistakes because I still do mistakes everybody do mistakes right and I'm still learning on my tracks on my singing on my vocals so experience been amazing but be hard as well because uh, I always got told off by Zeus because I do mistakes you know what I mean so in the studio as well on the phone so yeah experience been always amazing he always I never been like felt like I'm working with someone else. It's like a, my big brother just you know shouting at me. So always been good. All right, that's pretty great. Um, with your new single coming out, and you've been into music for all these years, do you have any kind of advice that you would give to other aspiring artists or other uh, aspiring singers who want to break into the industry? Yes, um, I would just like to say that look, sometimes we got talents. We got a talent, natural talent from the God. Some people got God gifted voice, yeah. But some people you just take advantage of it and just release tracks and albums. But later, when it's time to sing it live on stage, they really, really can't really perform well. So it's my request to all the young youngsters who just want to be in this industry, try to learn Sikho. If you learn, you'll go long. Otherwise, hard work. hard work always pays off, and that's the way to be. Don't don't run after the fame or the glory of it all. No, 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 no. Some people just do it for fame or money, right? If it's for fame or money, it will take you somewhere. But some yeah, that's it. You will just you know, like people like Gurdas Manji and stuff. They've been singing, like it's been in an interview I heard, like they've been singing on the roads and stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah, small a passion. You know what I mean? You have to have a passion inside, otherwise you can't really do anything. So, yeah. Great. Wise words, Zora. Thank you so much for talking to us and the advice. I'm sure your fans, your upcoming fans and viewers will definitely like it. Right. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thanks for having me today in studio. Yeah. Thank you.